presidential candidates are kicking their campaigns into high gear, with less than three months to go before Election Day. President Tsai Ing-wen spent Sunday attending four launch events for interest groups backing her re-election. On the KMT side, Han Guoyu's busy itinerary included campaigning on the offshore county of Penghu during the day. By the evening, he was back on Taiwan proper to speak with young voters at a symposium in Taipei. President Tsai presided at the launch of a dentist's association on Sunday. Speaking on the threat of fake news, Tsai appealed to her audience for help. Everybody here is a dentist. It is the prerogative of the dentist to talk when the patients cannot. You can force them to listen to you. So I beg you all to use that brief period of time to clear things up for me. Over the weekend in Taipei, President Tsai attended the launch of four interest groups formed to support her re-election. One represented the green energy industry. Tsai said that such a group was unheard of before her term. This green energy industry was practically unheard of before 2016. After 2016, due to the government's resolve and promotional efforts, the green energy industry was able to flourish. As Tsai touted achievements on the campaign trail, her KMT rival was in Penghu County. The night before, he had met with the KMT's local representatives and grassroots cadres. The group proposed that Taiwan connect Penghu to China by a railway with an underwater tunnel. I won't make promises lightly. This is even more controversial than flag raising on mountains. If I say anything about an underwater tunnel, it would be Han Guoyu is a fool. I would set off the landmines once again. So I will say that such a large construction project requires evaluation. Addressing the flag controversy, Han made a self-deprecating joke amid rhetoric that appears to be turning cautious. <laughs> 